this week on Not Your Average Fangirls. Could you imagine slam poetry, but like straight kids lyrics? <laughs> <laughs> Looking like a chef. I'm a five star Michelin. Gia Jum Jum. Oh <laughs> <laughs> no. Jungkook is telling us how he likes it in his latest single, 3D. Juan has returned with a song perfect for Hispanic Heritage Month. And Kepler asked the stars and Galileo about their love life, which I mean, relatable. Check it out. It's October 1st, everybody. Happy spooky season. Happy terror. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Uh, what's up, you guys? It is not your average fangirls. Back with another week of K-pop-ness. It's your girl, Kat. Um, what do I have to say? What do I have to say? Happy Chuseok to everyone who celebrates. Uh, that's why this week is sh- going to be short, y'all. Not a lot of shit's been happening. But, yeah. you know, we're living. We're breathing. We're here. Jungkook and Jack Harlow released a song together. We're going to be talking about that later. But... Wow. I'm just, I'm in good spirits. K-pop is fun right now, and I love it. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's Terika. It's October. Yay! Woo! Which also means we are one step closer to Christmas break. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> God damn. She even skipped Halloween. But damn. I know. I know, because Halloween, I don't get a break. I just get more kids. No, but I am going to Disneyland this weekend, so. Period. On Friday. What? Nice. Oh, I know. So that's that's what's keeping me going. And hello, everybody. This is Carolina. Last week, we didn't record because these lovely humans here surprised me with my family. So Yay! It was so cute. Yeah, celebrate my birthday, and they surprised me. I did not see it coming. It was great, amazing. Um, so, yeah, so that's why we're putting two weeks in one. But it is true sucks. So, like, n- yes. nothing majorly happened except for um yesterday we went to the opening of a k-pop store in seattle it was a great time and it was amazing it was so good so happy that you know it's like down the street Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it are our wallets crying oh yeah they Mm -hmm, are trembling mm -hmm. in their little shoes yeah they are how were how are the prices they weren't bad i mean i feel like yeah i feel like it was it was well priced in the fact that like the price of it and the shipping you would pay to get it in the first place would be about the same amount you were paying in store so okay yeah like give or take a dollar or two type of thing but like if you want it right now then you know yeah paying for convenience so it was good and i think they like they have other locations like around the states uh and i heard one of the ladies saying like oh like we did like fan signs at our one of our stores i'm gonna assume it's the california one yep so i'm assuming that they're probably gonna do the same here so that'll be cool like if they do like fan signs and stuff in that store but let me tell you girl the turnout like there was a hell of people it was insane we got there at 10 o'clock and we didn't get into the store till almost two oh my god Yeah. yeah yeah Like, it was a lot. And obviously, like, because it's a small store, too, so they had to bring in, like, per group type yep. thing. Like, f- you know, they couldn't just bring, like, okay, 100 people in here at the same time. Yeah. Like, no, like, it was in groups. Yeah, that makes sense. But How it was good. Was the NCT merch, did they have cute stuff? I mean, they had uh, a lot of, like, little, like, things from, like, fan cons or, like, exclusive concert stuff they had the wavy light stick which was amazing i was like oh my god oh wow yay yeah they had the mm-hmm. wavy light stick they had like dreamland like season nct dream seasons greetings they had like all the nct dream albums all the 127 albums they had the yep. uh do jung j albums with the like perfume samples in it they had all of those okay cool yeah they're very much like you can definitely tell that they're BTS catered. <laughs> they have like a whole BTS section. And then yeah, it's BT21, the BT21, 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 Tiny Tan, Tiny Tan, yeah. Tiny Tan. <laughs> yeah. It was a, a yeah. lot of that. Yeah. And like I'm hoping that they do like how that store in LA does. The the one that brings like merch from the cons and stuff and yeah. the concerts. Like, like that Plaza. Yeah. K, K Plaza. Yeah. Yellow Music Plaza, whatever it's called. Like, I hope that they do things like that. So I'm wondering if now, just because they were opening, like, you know, what's available, yeah. like, readily available is a bunch right. of BT21 stuff. I will say, though, like, what was it? Like, the the uh, fanboys that were there for wow, twice. Crazy. And, like, you crazy. Like, there were a bunch of guys there, and which was freaking great. But, like, it was so funny. I saw this one girl be like, oh, it's only seven. Like, it's $79 to this, like, big plushy thing. And whoever she was with was just like, no, like, that's too much. And one of the dudes was just like, treat yourself. Treat yourself. <laughs> <laughs> treat yourself. And I was like, you're right. Like, but it coming was kind in of here, crazy because, like, that's so you could see in the store from the line and like when people were going mm-hmm. in you could like see them restocking albums bitch new jeans was flying 
I was yep. flying. I'm not surprised. Like flying off the shelves. I was like, God damn, every boy came out with a new jeans light stick. And I was like, period. Mm-hmm. As you said. So so it was good. It was good. And also like I felt bad for I have some friends that were in line too and they wanted some Stray Kids album, but they were behind us. And when I went in, I was like, ooh, they're not gonna they're not gonna girl, find gone. the album that they wanted. Like, girl, the gone. The Stray Kids are like, gone. Like it was completely like they just took it all and i was just there like wow look at them bitch the rise okay. albums too i got the last yes two of them. they were gone i was like yeah god knew that i wasn't standing in line for this and if i didn't <laughs> get it i was gonna be upset i wanted to get the boy next door album the cereal box but it was damaged the one they had so yeah. i was like i'm not spending oh. i can just buy it online and get it like in good condition for the same price so i was like yeah. I went in there and people were just like, what are you getting? I was just like, whatever I see. Yep. <laughs> whatever we're vibing. So I literally bought like what? Like I found a little wallet for like, you know, when I changed like purses and stuff. Yep. Like, so I don't take my big wallet. And then I got, and it's, and it's cookie, like it's cookie with a bunch of cherry blossoms. It it's is. Great. It's so pretty. Aww. And then I got, I found the, like the hand creams, the Stray Kids, the Stray Kids yep. promote. Mm -hmm. Um, And I've heard really good things about him and it's hand cream. You know, I always have hand cream in my purse. So I was like, fuck it. (laughs) And then what else? I bought up Tumblr, an RJ Tumblr. Because I was like, this is cute. cute. This is so cute. Yeah, but they had a night of like niche things as well. So they had like stuff like magazine covers, like a bunch of magazines. They had like shiny like fan, the latest fan concert they had, like all that merch, they had all of yep. that. And I was like, oh, I mean, it was priced to make me go, oh. <laughs> but yeah. 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 They had it. They had like exclusive, like, so they had from the IU tour, like her last tour, they had like a bunch of exclusive merch that like you can't like literally can't get anywhere else. Oh, so wow. they had like this little like pin that like spins. It's like an hourglass and it spins around, which was so cute. But that... <laughs> Forty six dollars, I said. Mm. Yeah, and that's why. Yeah, but that's why I'm hoping that they do keep bringing. So because I saw that, yeah. uh, I was like, I hope that they do like the same thing as Music Plaza and bring merch like that. Yeah. yeah. Because, but I mean, obviously, uh, reasonable pricing. Because if I can get it cheaper at K-pop Town, then I'm gonna just get it on K-pop Town. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't need yeah. it right now. I'll wait the, the week and a half for it to get him <laughs> to come to me. But and think. they had a bunch of light sticks though. Like they literally were yeah. stocked up on light sticks. Oh, that's good. They had like mm-hmm. they had in hype, but the uh, light sticks were kind of but they were, they were overpriced. Little, yeah. Yeah. They were a little steep, but they had like in Hypen, they had New Jeans, they had Twice, they had Itzy, they had Icon, they had Wavy, they had NCT, yeah, they had all the Seventeen's newest light stick was there, which I wanted. Gravity, Stacy, yeah, I was looking at that Stacy light stick because I was like, mm, the concert's happening soon. I might have to invest in it to be. Honest, but, <laughs> but we'll see. Yeah, they were. But yeah, but it was good. If anybody's in the Seattle area, K pop station just opened up. So and it again, it it was really fun to go there. And I I mean today, like they had like uh, a dance and like games and shit so like they did a whole thing for like the the weekend yeah but it was good now you know now we have one that's not all the way in i don't even know where washington yeah i just keep fucking thinking about that zero base one keychain from the fan con and i'm like i want to go back and get it too. i mean the store is there so <laughs> the store is there, but, <laughs> but is the keychain the key there? there yeah, yeah. oh well that's that yeah thing. that's another thing there. we'll have to figure that out when we get there but also zero base one y'all got some fanboys because i would like wow every man i saw in there had a zero base one album in their hand and i said and that's why i told cat i was yeah. just like well i mean for the game <laughs> for the game really like yeah, that that's cb1 we love it we love it but anyways yeah well you know k-pop in the states stores are opening up left and right my friend just started working at a new one that opened in jersey so that's always fun she's just like i can get y'all discounts i was like say less that's what i was thinking i was like am i gonna get a part-time job at this damn k-pop store so just so i, can get <laughs> I mean why not i'm just i mean listen i might got the hookup um for jingle ball i heard it's getting more involved here with k-pop so uh we got a couple groups that will be a different jingle ball so make sure y'all check out those lineups nct dream p1 harmony g idol jingle ball never never heard of her never met her in my life 
<laughs> it's like I would have flown back to Tampa if the Tampa stop had a K-pop. I would have literally been like, oh, I'm going yeah. and I'm meeting whoever it is. Oh, yeah. I told Carolina we were talking about it today. And she was like, oh, like Niall's going to be in Tampa. Oh, my God. I could have met Niall. And I was like, and we just sat there and looked at each other. I was like, bitch, if any, if <laughs> NCT Dream I was had like- been at Tampa, I would have been there. Oh, yeah. I said, I, we would have been in Tampa because I know we could have met them. So I would have been in Tampa exponentially. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I would have said, F them kids. Yeah. I would have said, I have, a, I have an illness. I got to go. I'm sorry. It's really contagious. I cannot come in. <laughs> <laughs> but truly, I was literally like, I cannot believe the one year. I was like, bro, every time there's something with Niall, though, like I get blocked. I'm like, why? Just let Niall's me. Niall's not important here, Carolina. Listen. If NCT Dream would have been there. <laughs> We would have been in Tampa Bay well, yeah, you're right. on the day of that concert. You're right, you're right. But still, yeah, they're going to a bunch of the Jingle Ball stops. So everybody uh, check those out to see who's going, coming to your city and go from there. Because if yeah. you're seeing NCT Dream at Jingle Ball, I don't want to see shit about it because I'm a hater. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm a hater. That. I'm going to I'm gonna block you. Yeah, um. lying because I know that you're going to be looking at the video. So I'm up. not. I mean, I'm going to, but I'm going to be mad about it. <laughs> I'm gonna nope. I'm not gonna watch him until a couple days after, so I can be like, "Oh no, I missed it. How did I not know?" <laughs> Terika's like, Terika's like, I'm just gonna gaslight myself. I don't know what y'all, <laughs> but I'm just gonna Quite gaslight literally. myself. But that's exciting though. Um, this just makes me scared though even more for next year when it comes to tours. <sighs> Anyways, yeah. Tio once Renta decided to leave the group. And you know what? I forgot to read why, but uh, <laughs> but it doesn't really matter because Tio, you know what? Tio one's been going point, through it. They really have. They just since they were Tio. Wake one. What are you? What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Like they don't know what. What is happening? <laughs> they don't know either. That's the problem. I don't get it. Like, bro. I don't understand why this group is having. And the thing is that this was like a Mnet group. They were supposed to be set, right? Wasn't there? It's like they came from an Mnet show, so, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y- yeah, but it was like a internet Mnet show, not a on yeah. television Mnet mm. show. Boo. Top class was on like V Live. Yeah, I remember because we were at that year at KCON and they were like, yeah, like, yeah. they did a performance and like, vote for your face. I'm like, who are these people? <laughs> Literally. Yeah. And we adopted. But then she said, Jerome. And then we adopted Jerome. <laughs> Jerome. But now he's and now gone. And he's gone too. So what Damn. was the point? Damn. I mean, listen, the Japanese like members that they added were popular before they joined TO1 in Japan. And they were already popular. So maybe he was just like, y'all going to have me in a basement? Nah, that's okay. I'll go somewhere else. <laughs> I mean, with how they are doing right now, then yeah, because TO1 was like active like doing a lot of things yep. and, and then, then it was just a point that it was just like okay enough yeah it's they they're the yeah wake one is ass they're just so ass they suck man who else is under them because what the zero fuck? base one dear god Dang. yeah but see but they can't fumble the bat with that one they promote themselves like they don't need you know but still you know what i mean but still carolina well anyways I wish Renta all the best. If he went to go and do better things somewhere else, good for him because obviously this company ain't doing it for him. Talking about companies, finally G Dragon left YG. Hold on, everybody. Hold on. Hold on. (laughs) Woo! Woo! (laughs) Woo! Man, we don't. We've only been waiting forever. Now finally, maybe he will release some music. Thank fucking God. Okay, Damn. thank God. I know that YG, YG was holding that contract on top of him. Bitch. Like, what, when I say YG, I mean, like, well, it could be the person and also the company. He okay, really both. pulled a CL and said, I'm going to wait this contract out. Y'all getting no money from me, nothing. I'm going to be making shoes. I'm going to be going to fashion shows, and I'm going to be making friends, and that's it. Y'all ain't getting a dime. A dime. And he really Good waited out that contract. He said, okay, per period, bye. <laughs> so, Good for him. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if come next week, she's just he's like, he's releasing my, here's music, my album. yeah. I would love, oh, yeah. the pettiness. I would love the pettiness of that. Like, imagine today, okay, you know, they announced it today. Yo, I left the company. Tomorrow, look at my new album. Yep. Boom. I would love that. Like, oh, I will love that. I would love that. I do really wonder what he's going to do, like, in terms of, like, company and, like, what, you know, if he's just going to start his own shit and or just, like, be MIA, continue being MIA. Here's to hoping that he either pulls a Zico and creates his own company and makes an amazing boy group that, like, 
you know, would be artsy and cute and adorable. Or he pulls a Dara and goes to Abyss with Bam Bam, and Bam Bam has a mental breakdown every time he walks into work. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> I would love that for him, honestly. Even if he does have a mental breakdown, like, every time. I would love that for him. <laughs> He'd probably be like, oh, oh God. Dude. Oh, right. You work here now. Right. 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 You're here. Or just giggle. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. He's going to be like, hey, Bam Bam. He's going to be like... <laughs> Oh my god, you said my name. Oh my god. <laughs> Hair twirl like around his finger. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. I love. But yeah, but so happy for GD. We'll see what he does. I'm hoping for fire music because we we've missed him. We've mm-hmm. missed him so much. Yes. So um three Racha performed at Global Citizen, the Global Citizen Festival it just happened in so New did York. Cookie. Cookie was also there. Yes. Yes. <laughs> But sadly, with Riracha, uh, Stray Kids was supposed to perform, yeah. but uh, Lino, Hyunjin, and Sungmin got in a minor car, you know, accident. And thankfully, they're all okay. Um, I think Lino is still MIA, so we're really hoping that JYP did not lie, saying pissed. that this were minor injuries. Wild. Um, I'd have to but yeah. kill JYP. <laughs> yes. I mean, G- whoever is in this of that CEO yeah it's going down bitch okay but yeah so three racha went to perform they killed it um even in the they middle did. of a monsoon yep it was raining the whole time no, it was. the videos that came out of that though chef's kiss <laughs> Youngman, that man the man that you are Period. that's it they kill I can't believe that all those people got to live my, my dream of seeing all of the three racha songs in one night they saw Damn. three racha. They saw Chris being like, "My boys, my boys pit." In fact, they locked and loaded. Pa pa pa! I cannot believe it. <laughs> oh my god! I cannot believe it. A dream. I need that in my life. Yeah, yeah. No, I go hard for three racha. Oh like that's god. the song. I just think it's so funny the way you be saying the lyrics. I popped and loaded. Pa 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 pa. I gotta read. I do the dramatic reading. It's not. It's not rapping. It's just dramatic reading. Slam poetry. Oh my god. Slam, slam poetry. Racha slam poetry. Still on the grind. <laughs> you better watch out for the brothers. Like, come on now. Could you imagine slam poetry, but like straight kids lyrics? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Looking like a chef. I'm a five star Michelin. Gia jump jump. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 no. God. Ika Poya Owe Illusion. Huh? It's <laughs> Navidad. Felix no. Navidad. I can feel the evil coming, but Felix. Never sad. Never, never bad. bad. No. <laughs> no. I would love that. Honestly, that would be so funny. Terrible. Like K pop lyrics, but it's just like slam poetry of them. Dun, 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 Stray kids. Woo. Mm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. but yeah but they did that's great it, jungkook cool. also did amazing and that's when he dropped that new song and everybody lost their lives and that's when he brought lotto out that too oh, i'm <laughs> so happy like he was mm, he was eating he, it up i was waiting it. i want junk i wanted jungkook to just show up at 4 a.m on live with like i mean it could have just been by himself but like it doesn't you know girl he does that every other day <laughs> Exactly. But I I like when he randomly has guests over, like that one with Mingyu. Like Girl, you know? that's the only time that's happened. <laughs> yeah, that's why I need I need it more consistent. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean he only got five friends. That's so yeah. and two girlfriends so can... apparently. <laughs> Ooh Apparently. What's the tea there? Hold on a second. What's Girl, the tea with so Joe Cook? I looked into it when Terika messed because I was like, I need to know what's happening because I'm just a nosy bitch and I wanna know. So like Yeah, so during... now tell me. During, like, the World Cup thingy to this actress bitch, but, like, Hybe was like, no, that's not true. And, like, she also was like, mm. And people were like, oh, well, she didn't deny it, so maybe it's true. And Jungkook didn't deny it, so it might be true. Oh, my God. But I was like, I was like, if it was true, they would have given the taste statement where it was like, it's their personal lives, mind your fucking business. Yep. But they didn't give that statement. They gave a no, that's not true statement. And then people are like, oh, my God, yeah, like, Jungkook has a girlfriend. So all this time, people have been on their horse about, oh, my God, Jungkook girlfriend. And today, some video, or I don't know if it was today, but in the past couple of days. It was a couple of days yeah, ago. Uh-huh. Some videos got released of apparently a person filming Jungkook inside of his apartment. Okay, creepy. Through the window, yeah. Of him. Yeah, through the window. Quote, unquote, cheating on his girlfriend with another girl. Because they're like, that's not her. And first of all, you can't even tell if it's Jungkook, if it's 
like there's a lot of evidence that would support the the consensus which makes it even again worse. that's creepy as fuck what the hell anyway but yeah so they were f- quote if it's true they were quote unquote filming cookie through this through his window at his apartment where he's with the girly and they like m- messing around they like play fighting yeah it's fun, cute because literally they're just like play fighting and like i don't know yeah but, it's, but no one brought up how like creepy it was that this person's like in a building yeah adjacent to his everyone's apartment. like, like <laughs> jungkook is cheating on his <laughs> girlfriend and i'm like are, we are missing the situation here i was like we are missing the part where some random chinese bitch just posted this on weibo saying like John Cook's cheating on his girl. Like we are missing a whole fucking plot like- point. Literally. We are missing a whole plot point here. And then there's some armies who are like, oh my God, that's not him. That's this person or that's this person or this is some random Chinese couple and that's this person. And I'm like, again. That's <laughs> not the point missing- here, baby. So the point was here and y'all just jumped over that shit. Yeah. We need to be at the tip of that point. This girl had like, situation. like I don't know, she had like spy gear. Are you serious? She had like the, the zoom on that? I'm like, it had to be yeah. because the zoom on this? I was it was like, probably that girl, Samsung phone. You know that iPhone what? can't have that. Yeah. Zoom. <laughs> but like, like girl, the way the a- the way it was angled, it seems like she's on a rooftop somewhere. She has to be. Are you serious? Because oh my God, like wait. Angled where, <laughs> where is this video? Yeah. Oh girl, you can go on TikTok and look up uh, Jungkook cheating. It'll be everywhere. Like but- that's wild to me that literally everybody's just like oh my god like that's not him blah 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 blah. no you're missing the point here you why does this girl have this video exactly (laughs) like Like, what like (laughs) we're missing the point is the the point is not that he could be and also why is if you're fucking business if he has a girlfriend he doesn't have a girlfriend he's cheating on his girlfriend not cheating on his girlfriend like who i'm sorry who are you what is (laughs) what if they are in an open relationship yeah, right and you, you don't, just know, don't their know lives. like wh- there's so many yeah, possibilities what if they equally are just like oh fucking around with all sorts of different people because they're young and they're hot like or maybe or the, yeah or maybe they broke up exactly. i don't know it's been a minute since the world cup yeah, Who knows? Like, it you know, has been a minute it's been a minute and it wasn't even confirmed <laughs> so they're like oh no if it was if it they did break up the hive would have said something i was like no, no because they, they denied wouldn't. the rumors in the first place <laughs> happening but congrats to that girly though because i too would also like to have a ticket yeah, fight same, right? with cookie and, and wrestle and play while bam is like running around with, i'm yeah I would love i'm that literally too. watching the yeah. video now and like here's the proof that it is him i'm like okay first of all y'all are looking so much into it and not enough into who the fuck took that video that's like- yeah and not enough into why she kind of looks like she pregnant as well I'm just saying. Ooh. But like it's wild to me like the amount the amount of info we have on the layout of his apartment. Why do we know exactly what picture he has on the the third wall like on the like hello? Well, we know that because <laughs> he himself posted it on live. So like, you know, that explains oh, that okay. part. I was just scared. I was like, what? But still, I've watched I've watched one of his lives and I have not right, memorized exactly. the artwork on his walls. Yeah. Like, how do you remember <laughs> like, these things? I don't remember what happened I yesterday most know. of the time. How the hell do you have it in your brain? This is Jungkook's life. Yeah. There's like 20 armies that are just like, they have no life. They they like go to school and they're like 15 and they don't do nothing else but go to school and then come home and like their life is about Jungkook. That probably are like, oh my God, let's see if it's really his apartment and go on all the lives. And they're like, oh my God, this is Actually, the yeah. Yeah. And, so, I w- and I mean, I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if like NCT fans stand outside their fucking dorms and apartments, like just chilling outside. Yeah. I am assuming some people are crazy enough to do it for BTS too. So, but also similar to the Jaehyun incident, if this is Cookie and you were filming him through his windows, the fucking violation, bro, literally, that's just disgu- like he's now gonna be on edge for the rest of his fucking life. That someone is watching him through his window. That's so creepy. Like what? Like we said when it was the Jaehyun incident. Like what if somebody just goes out to your window and watches you creepily and films you? Like, yeah, creep. Yeah, fucking creepers. Again, we don't know if this is Jungkook or not, but if yeah. even if it's not, even if it's just a random man, why are you watching him through his window? <laughs> Clearly. They're like, wow, I wish that was me. I wish I could be having fun right now. <laughs> Maybe they're pretending that they're the girl. They're like putting themselves in the shoes of that girl. <laughs> Instead, they're on some random roof taking video of it. Like a fucking, okay, what the heck? 
Yeah, that's girl. crazy. Jungkook, if you got a girly or multiples, like as long as they all know that they, you know, they're nothing serious, then that's fine. But also, Jungkook, bro, if you need security, let me know. We're about to fuck some bitches up at the at the downstairs. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy, though. Again, invasion of fucking privacy, y'all. Like, these people, like, again, I be joking all the time. Oh, my God, Changwe, my da- baby daddy, whatever, whatever. But, like, be, you know... Like I'm not gonna watch I'm not him gonna through, gonna his window. Watch yeah. through his window. That's creepy. <laughs> Hiding in the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> No, I really can never. I can never. The embarrassed. Are you not embarrassed? They're like, not. Bitch, what are you a bird watcher? <laughs> Get the fuck out of the bushes and the trees like that. You fucking fuck weirdo. You weird. That's weird. Like no, we are moving on from that. He probably just walks out of his apartment every day. And he hears wrestling. He goes, "Oh, hey, Stacy." Like, hey. Literally. <laughs> He's just literally. like. He's just used to them being there. What's up, girl? But anyways, yeah. Listen, y'all. Y'all gotta understand that your idols are probably fucking and they are probably dating and. And that's something that you're gonna have to let go of, okay? Probably fucking girl. He wrote a whole two I know. songs about it. I he know. <laughs> He's a grown ass man. So that's what I say, <laughs> y'all. Grown. Like as fans, we need to take a step back. Okay, listen. Touch grass. Am I the Lulu? Hell yeah. Is being the Lulu that's a Lulu? Heck yeah. But not all the time. But like, <laughs> the, but like, we're fu- it's like fun to Lulu. Yes. Like we know we're being crazy exactly. for fun, for shits and giggles, not for like real exactly. life. Exactly. <laughs> also, I'm tired of people saying these people are delusional. No, these bitches are psychotic. Yeah. Like there's yeah. a difference. <laughs> there's a difference. <laughs> there's a difference between Delulu and psychotic. And these bitches are psychotic. They're not Delulu. Okay. Being to Lulu is fun and lighthearted. Being psychotic is crazy. <laughs> That's what it's going to the bush and taking a video with your super phone of a random man through their window. <laughs> like, that psychotic. Okay. Poor man. Oh, dear God. Now I understand why Nam June was always on edge for everything. <laughs> Like, okay like no absolutely i not. understand why jen is just like y'all are not gonna know shit about me nothing literally <laughs> nothing. nothing it's insane anyways if they if he is dating or whatever the hell like good good for you congratulations good for you. to you and girl, congrats yeah. to the girl because damn monday literally. tuesday wednesday thursday friday good luck what should she <laughs> that should be me wrestling with him <laughs> that for should real. be me feeding his dog <laughs> That should be me. This is so sad. <laughs> oh my god! All right. Well, we talked a little bit about the Mnet groups, Kepler. Um, there's pos- a possible contract extension. Yes. Which I mean, I shouldn't be surprised because. Yeah. No, yeah. I definitely think it's yes. probably gonna happen. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. I love that for them. They seem yeah. to get along well and like they mesh well together and their music is really, really good. So I'm happy. But also I'm just really happy because none of them really have groups to go back oh, to. Oh, really? Like, yeah. Hikaru is in the same agency as XG. So everybody's like, oh, well, she can become a member of XG. But I'm like, XG is already established. Yeah. So I feel like putting her in XG isn't really going to be like I the think move. that was the plan, mm-hmm. though. Like, for, I remember like before them being like, oh, the, the X, like that company being like, there's a spot for her like after. But I'm assuming now, yeah. like with how everything went with XG, like how popular they are, they might like rethink that. Yeah, so I'm like, I feel in like Kia is like in IST, which like, <laughs> girl, we ain't never going to see her yeah. ever again if she goes back to that company. And then Eugene with Cube, like, yeah, another one. Let's just hope that they get their contract. This yep, year. that's that's what we're going to hope for. No, yeah, I agree. I agree. And it's just like, you know, we wish like IOI and 101 would have gotten a damn yeah. extension. So, yes. X1. Ugh, X1. Let's not. Let's not. <laughs> Derica, how dare you? How dare you? <laughs> we could have had it. I don't know why you laughing because Hangyo was in that group. Like you literally, Hangyo. Okay. I do. I just think it's so funny. Like that whole process. Like fucking just the whole hate like them. watching y'all go through it. Like I fucking I hate like, Mnet for that shit. To this day, I will forever hold that grudge. Just like how Wusog has that grudge went because oh, yeah, of bro. tension was then. having a comeback. Yep. The and so was X One and X One won literally that same day. You could tell he was pissed. He was so mad. He was like, I can't believe it took me going to this stupid show and being in this stupid yep. group just for people would be like, oh, my God, this man is talented. Like, bitch, I've been in this group yep. for years now. Yeah. Like, and you're telling me that nobody saw how talented I was. But now they do. I was. Oh, I know that he was pissed. Oh, well, like, I mean, he said it himself. He was mad. So, like, <laughs> he was mad. Yeah. Anyways, they 
they still mad. All of the X One boys are literally. still mad. They like, I would be really, too. Y'all really left, left us out to dry. Like Mnet said, "Well," and let everyone. There just was no defense for nothing. Crumble. Nothing. nothing. They nothing. said, "Fuck you guys." And honestly, for my own, you know, um, you know, I love Kepler, but you know, for my own interest, this would be amazing as it would give me hope for ZB One. <laughs> Oh girl, God. aren't they already in like a five year one? No, girl, they're two and a half. Years. Oh, I thought that they were like five, like two and a half was going to be like fully no. ex- like CB1 and then the other no. one. Oh, girl, that's a lot of money. I hope they don't fuck it up like how they did with 101. Where we were just like extension, extension. They said, no, we're going to do solos. And then that flopped. So yeah. please, like, <laughs> please learn from past mistakes. Uh, let's be real y'all yeah. like Kang Daniel is Kang Daniel and it's because he has a loyal ba- like you and Sungwoo is Sungwoo because he went into acting yes like they have a yeah. loyal fan base but it's not it is not so what you. it was with fucking 101 101 and that's it anyways now we're getting sidetracked <laughs> um and it'd be like you know it's it, it's like that i'm gonna be like 50 years old still talking about how 101 was magical <laughs> so <laughs> what could have been yeah what could have been basically uh, other magical things john cook <laughs> John Cook again. We mentioned he came out with 3D with John Carlo. Love, Ugh, uh, love, love, love this love collab. This uh, shout out to Jack for being like you, my bay like Tampa. I say, hey, represent. Oh Listen, my god! I didn't even know he said that. Cat was the one that brought it out, like pointed it out. The thing that made me laugh is like, I'll fly you from Seoul to Kentucky, and I was like, who wants to go to Kentucky? It's because he's Please from Kentucky, do- isn't he? I think so. Probably, but like, you don't even <laughs> want to be there. Does he live there now? Absolutely not. I mean, listen, if John. Cook <laughs> was in kentucky then shit fried chicken is my favorite I'd thing you know kentucky. what i mean like i don't, I don't know I'm, <laughs> i don't know i'm still gonna have to ask if that... someone came to me and they would like look baby girl i'll fly you to kentucky i'd be like please get out of my face okay but if it was let, me see cook. This. let me see this wait no 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 no. okay jamin is the last tour stop he got is in kentucky and he said this is the only day i can see you you're not going to Kentucky? That's a good stop. He's getting a show. He talking about like I fly you out to Kentucky. Like we going. Like he talking about like we on a date or something. Like baby girl, I'll take you to Kentucky. Like nigga, what is in Kentucky? I just, what, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I don't understand. Like, I, I mean, no. shit. There's a lot of things that you could do. I mean, like, well, shit. Well, we could have just stayed at the house in Seoul and saved us up a plane trip. Like. <laughs> If that was going to be what we were going to do, we could have stayed in the house. You'll like, probably get better food over there in Seoul. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no shade to Kentucky. Said, oh, I like no. fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I like fried chicken. I don't even like they fried chicken. All they had going for them was they uh, mashed potato bowls. Yes. I can- <laughs> like, damn. Anyways, Jungkook also, you know, he's he's going for the pop. I love this man. I prefer Seven over this one, but... I really like like this whole music video. I was just like, not only because you know he's like there's shirtless, just, but like, still. <laughs> there's just something so nostalgic about this sound. Is like he ripped yeah. it out of like every playlist I ever own. And there's a lot of people that are like, this song is underwhelming. This song is, nah, this song is alright. No, just shut your mouths. I <laughs> I like it. I just feel like people are too, they're too critical. Like just take a song for what it is and enjoy it. And if you don't like it, don't. Like, I remember somebody said opinions are like assholes. Everybody has one. Yeah. And sometimes the yep. shit that comes out of it is shit. Like, <laughs> just close your fucking mouth. And I think it's funny, too, how, like, you have the, at one point you had that argument with people were saying, that like, not every song needs to be super deep about yeah. something. Can't people just have Literally. fun? And so when you have, like, a fun song, it's like, oh, it's just so overwhelming, like, underwhelming. It, like, didn't do anything. And I'm like, well, what do you, what do you want? What do you want? Do you want something that's like thought provoking or do you want fun? Because it give you thought provoking and you're like, it's music that it should be that deep. Like sometimes I just want to shake my ass, and then you get something where you're just kind of shaking your ass and vibing, and now it's not. Now it's not enough. So it's like, what do you? What do you want? What do you want? But also, like this whole song is just listen. It's about hooking up with girls. Like let's look. Yeah. Let's just put it plain and simple. This is what this song is about. And my my the annoying part for me is people are like, this song is so misogynistic. They're talking about having four girls at once. I'm like, okay. And if I'm fucking four dudes at once, is that like what is that like? I feel like as long as it's consensual. Like if you're if you're with this guy, he's like, look, I'm messing with other girls, and you're like, cool, because I'm, I'm messing, messing with other guys. Yeah, and then it's like beautiful. 
We love like, that. That's my thing. That's I think a lot of people put. So I was telling this to Kat, but I was just like, I think a lot of people put this image. Like, again, it's like that image of BTS into each yeah. member individually. And that's why, like, when they do something, because, you know, like looking at like the music that the other members make or whatever, like it's mm-hmm. not as like, quote unquote, explicit or like out there as what Jungkook is doing. So I think that a lot of people have they heard expensive girl. They have. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. They, they don't not. know the history, but that's what I mean. So a lot of people see John Cook and they, and, and they just think BTS. They don't think and and they see the other uh, the other baby. members making the music that they're making. So obviously they kind of want to put John Cook in like again. It's like how we said with every other solo. Like they try to put each member in a box. And, like, you can only do this type of music. You can only do, like, whatever. And I think it's the same with Jungkook. You also have a lot of fans that were just like, damn, like, I saw Jungkook when he debuted, so I'm a bit uncomfortable. But, like, but you don't have to trash the song, like, if it or trash him for it. It doesn't matter how you see him. He's a grown-ass man. (laughs) Exactly. But what I mean with that, what I mean with that, like, that the people said that, is that it's just like, oh, they say that because, like, damn, you saw this boy, like, grow up. But you don't see them like trashing him and the song because of like, oh, well, it's not my cup of tea. You know what I mean? But I also feel like the argument about like, oh, like it's not as deep as BTS. Who cares? When they first but also when they first started, like if you're a BTS fan and you have listened to BTS's uh, discography when they first started, like their first like few albums, they were talking about fucking girls. I don't know where y'all were. (laughs) But Converse High has a whole yeah. line where Yoongi's like, I hate Converse because I can't get them off quick enough to get her undressed. Like, that's a whole line in a song. Yep. So <laughs> I don't know where, <laughs> where y'all are thinking that these men aren't men. But if you look like, at it, if on. you look at it, most fans that have been there for a long fucking time, they're just like, okay, cool, we vibing. But you get some yeah. of the newer fans that got here, you know, Dynamite permission to dance fuck that song like you know what i mean like (laughs) the gas you don't have your partner you don't have your partner in crime to help you defend no that song is it's so pure trash anyway so so fun i did not say it was not fun live but will i go is it a trash song yes even them themselves said it anyway so we move but booty. but that's my thing. You do get a lot of new people that maybe you know. To this day, there's fans that don't know their old discography that they don't know like it's whatever, wild. which is crazy to me. Like, what do you mean you haven't heard Dark and Wild? That's their best fucking album. <sighs> Anyways, um, like, but yeah, it's like things like that. Again, it's just putting junk like each member in like this box of like what you want them to release. Like that's basically what it is. We were saying I was me and Kat were talking about it and it's just like this is like Jungkook just went down his like playlist and he was just like I've been yep. listening to this artist so I'm gonna email them. I've been listening mm-hmm. to this artist so I'm gonna email them. Yep. And he's just working and doing music that he likes. Like that's But it. I also feel like this is the kind of music that he probably just enjoys on exactly. a regular basis. Like the type of music he makes like this pop R&B like sexy like leading man like in all white with his shirt undone you know like eh, eh, look at me eh, exactly look at my chance like that's just the kind of man that he is now especially that he's tatted his coffin is through the roof he got body yaddy yaddy like he's just he apparently got two girlfriends or so he four, dress him according to the song four like <laughs> right. it's just one of those things where it's like if you, my pro my the bigger problem i would have is if women weren't sleeping with junk cook i'd have a bigger issue <laughs> than knowing that women are sleeping with because first of all what's wrong with y'all if you're not taking the opportunity second of all pick me king pick me like like look it's like it's one of those things where it's just like I think it's incredibly unrealistic to think that this man is not messing around with girls. Like, <laughs> like he been telling us for I- years, international playboy, and everybody's like, "No, he's so shy, he can't even talk to girls." Well, now he was building his confidence. Yep. He's taking his time. Now here it is. He's international playboy, John Cook, and he's on stage with Lotto, biting his lip, licking his lip, passing that shit down to Young Joo. We ain't gonna talk about it. But <laughs> like, we're here. Like, we're here. Like, we're here. I'm swimming in it. I'm loving it. The lyrics are just, mm, they're so. <laughs> he said, I want to see it in motion in 3D. He said, you know how I like it, girl. <laughs> 3D. 
I was like, <laughs> I'm excited for his album. I'm just ready. I'm ready for everything that he does. I, he's just what a man he has become. What a man. What a man. What a man. Just, what a man. What a man. A man, a man. Yeah. And I love it. I love the songs. They're fun. Seven was great. This is great. I like Seven a little bit more, but this is also a great time. I've been listening to this. This is a spoiler song of the week. I've been listening to this a lot because it's just a fun fucking song. It's like, it gets you hype. It's not supposed to be deep and meaningful. Like, there's not people are like oh my god yeah champagne confetti it means that he's expressing his love and his heart is exploding for this girl like no ma'am sure yeah mm-hmm. cool no ma'am that's not what that means but okay you, you can keep uh, you can keep saying that to yourself that's fine y'all can keep lying to yourself keep about what jungkook yeah, is talking keep telling yourself that. i i hope that one day in an interview soon jungkook can just be like no listen i said it i said what i said I say what I said. He can be like that one songwriter with NCT. He's, he could have just said it was about sex. Like, that's literally. Literally. <laughs> literally. That's literally what it is. But Jungkook out here. And I mean, shit. Again, if he had a list, damn. Where do this? Where do you sign up? Because. Mm-hmm. I'm just. We love JK. But yeah, but I, I like I like Seven better than this one. But. But this is still but good. But yeah, but John Carlos, like. Also, like his verses were fine. I love. I think him and John could go. So John could. <laughs> I, think yeah. John could. Is, is I think him and John could go really well together. Yeah. So I really enjoy. They're like it. dorky, like dorky together too. Like you yeah. know what I mean. Yeah. And Jack Harlow, like I told Carolina, and then we're judging me. Terry could probably will too. Something about Jack Harlow is very attractive mm-hmm. to me. I think it's his, like his demeanor, his attitude. So like I was, I was living. I was vibing. The music video was great. They were great. I loved it. It was like the perfect mixture of like serious and sexy but also like goofy and that i enjoy i enjoy it and that's yeah. jungkook really we say that all the time yeah. like he is a fine man and and then you know he's a goofball yep. that's amazing that's incredible what a man where's the flaw i need to figure out what's the flaw he's a cheater <laughs> <laughs> he's a cheater damn. i mean damn. damn how dare he wow moving along then we got tempest they came out with vroom vroom oh yeah <laughs> They said, vroom, vroom, cut, 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 vroom, vroom. I said, god damn. I said, okay. (laughs) Yeah. I said, we, we, we two baddies, but like off brand two baddies. We're Walmart brand two baddies. I mean, hey, they're getting hella popular off of this song. They're winning. I love it. Yeah. Really? They got like two wins. They won like three times. Yeah. Yeah. Like people like it. So I'm like, okay. Like for me, it was just like, it was all right. But it was okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was okay. It was nothing Mm -hmm. like crazy for me, but I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I wouldn't actively listen to it. Exactly. Be like, oh, let me go listen to Vroom Vroom. But if it came on, I'd vibe. (laughs) Like. Exactly. It's one of them. Turn that shit up. <laughs> yeah, like, oh. If I'm comparing, like, if it was just like, oh, like, Baggy Jeans comes on, on Shuffle, I'll be like, turn that shit off. If this song this came one? on, I'll be like, ah, yeah, you can leave I it I listen out. to it. Yeah, I, I, will listen listen to it. I will listen to Baggy Jeans. <laughs> Too bad. Go to the other laugh. car. Because all <laughs> I think about is them bigger, 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 bigger. <laughs> Go to the other car because let <laughs> me tell you how the other day, what was it, yesterday, we were driving and that shit came on Shuffle and me and Cap both went, no. <laughs> and like fucking change that shit i looked at her i said if you don't change that shit <laughs> you gotta leave it until at least the chorus you can get a good no giggle. no and you, about no. how terrible it is and then you can change it because i just think about the jeans in my head like the, little, <laughs> the jeans in the background doing choreo <laughs> now nah, because the moment i hear baggy bag i'm like baggy, skip baggy, baggy, baggy. skip I need to find a way to just like block that song from ever coming on on my playlist, like ever. You can, you can like, you can like. Yeah, you can. I'm yeah. gonna have to yeah. do that with it. I fucking hate it so much. It's not even. Anyways, yeah, Tempest. But this doing isn't. Great. This isn't bad. Like I said, this isn't bad. The music video was in there. Like the concept. There we go. That was the word. Yeah, <laughs> the concept was good. Like the wardrobe was good. And like they're yeah. like undercuts with like the patterns and like the cutouts and the like. I was like, look. I was like, okay. I f- I I fuck with it. I understand the appeal, but it's not for me. Exactly. But it's not for me. That's it, literally how I felt too. But when I read Vroom Vroom, and I was just like, oh god, here we go. But I was like, oh, okay. Hi. My boy Hanbin, I'm happy for you, King. You deserve everything. I'm so happy for you. I'm glad you're getting your shine. They doing mm-hmm. it. Now, how you say their name? If Evening, Evne, Evening. Good evening. Even. Even? Even? Even. They, they spelled that shit wrong. So- <laughs> <laughs> 
why but is it is it like an acronym it's even yeah because i'm saying because why why did we choose so many letters unless it's like everybody vroom vroom well, night there was there was a another song before this one or another name before this one but then people were like this is weird we don't like this change this and then they changed it to this but i don't know so that that's what we went with okay that's yeah. the decision you know, we sometimes made sometimes i just be wondering like what the hell some of these companies are doing but like you know we're here it is what it jellyfish. is jellyfish it's jellyfish it is what it is Ooh. but anyway so even even mm-hmm. <laughs> you spelled your name wrong anyways even came out with trouble now um this is the group that also has the boys planet boys right yes so cat's been raving about this for yeah. a while and you know if we go by that other group that came out of boys planet i didn't like that but this song i didn't either i like this song, one i like it yeah i, I like it so the chorus in this the beat in this like i like when they do for the chorus when it's just like the trouble like the deep voice and then it's like that the, the beat just goes and i'm like yes yeah and then they do the hand thing doom, doom, yes doom, doom. Now that dum, shit dum, hits. Dum. <laughs> and I like that like, they, I think, I forgot who it was in one of our chats, but they were like, oh, it's, it's very like 80s okay, driven, like with the dystopian, like, but that's the only thing I saw that was like 80s related. It's just kind of like that dystopian look. And, you know, that's probably just for this concept. Um, So we'll see. But, but yeah, but this was good. This was, this, I, I like this. Yeah. Song. There's one of them. He's like, he's, there's a couple of them. They're super precious. And if I was invested enough, I would adopt them. But I just don't have the time or energy. But I like them. I like this song. They're super cute. Mm-hmm. I like the raps in it. Like, I, I don't know. I like it. I'm about this. The other one, no, 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 no. The other group, nah. this one, yeah. I see it. I Is see it the, the one that Kate has in? Uh, yeah. Yes, I was just about to. Uh, so, <laughs> did everybody see my tiny little van? Look, like, he's, he's so cute, little baby. Anyway, so Kata getting what he deserves, getting the appreciation and debut again. If this doesn't work out for him, I'm going to be real mad, y'all. What group so, was he in? He was in Cypher. Cypher. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's I right. mean, technically, he's still in Cypher because Cypher hasn't officially disbanded, just like all the members left. So. Ooh. Yeah, well, yeah that's why like, I was three. like, this and that. Okay. <laughs> except for like three of them, yeah. Listen, we, we, we don't like. Really. Anyway, but um, so yeah, Keita, mm, my man, he's so tiny and so cute, and I just I love him so much. But he can like dance and rap like nobody else, and he was like blah, 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 spitting bars, and then he was a newscaster with his little glasses, and he was just so cute, and I love him so much, and I'm so happy for him. And Hanbin, Hanbin did great. Hanbin just he fucked it up. They gave him the red in his hair, and he was just eating it alive. And I'm just I'm very happy that. Uh, that they debuted and i'm just i'm just <laughs> i love too that that the newscaster thing like and it has like their pictures and like their names because it's like yeah you know, it was cute so people can learn them and stuff i really like that like it was it was cute like it had its cute moments also they were like playing poker and i still you know go off i guess the <laughs> world off. is ending but let me just get this hand in real quick yeah girl haven't been in his fluffy hat I loved it. I love all my boys, flavor boys, and I just want them to be successful. I love them. Anyway, they're precious. They deserve it. I'm glad though that this, like with Boys Planet, like companies are taking action right away. Cause like remember mm-hmm. when it was one on one and we had to like fight for JBJ, and even yeah, then yeah. they did not like extend their shit. And I was just yeah. like, y'all suck. Mm-hmm. They really said, okay, let's get some more of the boys that were in the finale which is most of the boys that are in this group. And let's add like three that were not in the finale, but that were popular and we're going to make a group out of them. And the crazy thing for me though, is that like, this is like a jellyfish group. Like jellyfish is the one that put them together, but none of the train. Yeah. But none of the trainees that are under jellyfish are in this group. (laughs) Damn. Oh, if I was a jellyfish, if I was a jellyfish trainee, I would leave. That's crazy. Not even one. Not one. Oh, well, because no. Ganuka is from Jellyfish. So oh. my theory is they didn't want to debut the Jellyfish trainees in this group is because they're waiting for him oh. and them to debut together. Mm. Okay, you're right. Okay. But I also feel like if Zero Base One is, you know, extended, mm. which I feel like the members are really fighting to make it happen. Like if jelly if, if like they do extend it, then what is gonna happen to all my jellyfish babies that didn't make it? I'm wondering if they'll work 
into that you know how we've always said like what if you do this full two and a half years like just you know that group and then the next extension like you're able to work on your other group but like if they're gonna overwork them like how they are like yeah girl you, then it's gonna be hard you know what i yeah. mean um, practically impossible <laughs> yeah especially with them being that popular so yep so we shall see i mean i don't I, it's just kind of like waiting it out because you know that it's the same situation like with the past like some companies are greedy and they're just like no we want our successful idol to be a soloist and then it just again well look at fucking even with sucks. jbj when taedong was supposed to be in jbj but the, his company was like no we're we're gonna debut him yeah. and then he never debuted never stupid mm -hmm. and he could have been in jbj mm. anyways we move <laughs> we move but yeah, so good for them. G good for Boys Planet and the companies like kind of learning from the mistakes of also the, past, the rest of the EP yeah. is really great. Everyone should listen into it. All right, Billy also returned with BYOB and is not bring your own beer. Is bring your own bring best your own friend. Bestie. Bring your own bestie. This was super cute, but like very different very from different. Mm -hmm. what we're mm -hmm. used from them. Like yeah. I'm so used to seeing like creepy and like mm -hmm. witchy type mm -hmm. of shit from them. So this was like more of like. Like, okay, yeah, this is just, like, a Bessie song. Yep. Like, we're having fun together. They're like, we're at the arcade. We're having a great time. I don't know about you guys. We're in the grocery store. Like, <laughs> yep. And I'm having fun doing all this because I'm with my best friend. And so. That's my Bessie. Yep. I'm yep. wondering, though, like, be because the effect on the whole music video was, like, that fuzzy, like, kind of, like, remembering things. So I'm wondering, like, are they going to, like, put, like, put this together with something else? And then it'll be like, oh, that was all a dream type of shit. Mm. I don't know. I'm just making shit up at this point. I see it, though. I see it. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, that fussy effect was all over that music video. So I now I'm just it. like, is it all fake? Is it a dream? I hope so. I hope so, too. I want the creepy Billy. Like, creepy Billy. <laughs> I, want, I want creepy Billy back. Like, give me that. I won the witchy. So but they were so cute. I know. No, I it was super them. cute. Yeah. One is also returned with Baila Conmigo. Wow. During Hispanic Heritage Month, they love we, me. <laughs> <laughs> they love us. Like, how genius of them to do this. Um, Ido. 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 Mm. Mm -hmm. Ido. Mm -hmm. um, one us came back as Latin kings, and they... <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> we can't even, like, say nothing. I just, <laughs> just want to say they got glitter. They oh. got revealing clothes. They're speaking they Spanish. They're on water. They said we're putting all of our eggs in this one basket. And I just like wow. the concept in the song like didn't match for me in the sense that it was giving me like Greek Empire and then they were singing in Spanish. But it's OK. <laughs> I'll forgive it. <laughs> it's fine because did you see did you, did you see that? Did you see did, that? Did you see Ido with those fucking like arm bands? Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. And that shirt that he had on that was just like mm. and when yeah. they were in the glitter and then him and Wong's dance break Ooh. yes oh yeah that was good the dance break I, mm. I don't know I just this is different for them I like you said they're putting all their eggs in one basket they're just like look hey we got a little bit of this a little bit of this a little bit of this so I'm glad they're getting back out there though because it was a rough yeah. it was a little rough it's been yeah. rough it's been rough it's been for been them rough I think it's still being rough for them right now. But so. I just, I appreciate, and they have a Spanish version of the song. Everybody listen to it. Um, full Spanish version, like not even like a few, no. Oh, damn, really? Full what Spanish version of the song, yes. Okay. So listen to it, and I just, I appreciate it. They said Hispanic Heritage Month. Ido said, I'm doing this for my <laughs> wifey. And I was like, ah. <laughs> I'm shaking ass the to man. the Latin flavors. This is all for y'all. I'm like, you know what? I appreciate it too. But yeah, that dance duet thing, like wooing and Ido, mm. just I absolutely love. That. And Suho's love vocals, that so crazy, crazy. Should, yeah, also he looking, uh, yeah, he looking fine. Yeah, except they said te quiero instead of te amo, so I was like, oh, so you just see me as like a friend? You don't see me as like a lover? No, it's it's like it's a starting, you know. I They're know, starting, I know. But you know. Still, gotta take it by step. Gotta take it by. I step. want the te amo, <laughs> not the te quiero. Right. <laughs> oh my god. She's like, we're gonna skip that and go straight into we're getting married tomorrow. Yeah. We're that's like it. deeply in love with one another. <laughs> like, like, come dance with me. That's that's it. Then they were dancing all right. Yeah, they, they were, were and the scene with the glitter, I was ooh. I and love it was that just like part. 
listen, I loved it because it was just like all stuck to his their skin, and they were like glistening, <laughs> like a whole lot of things. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. I'm telling you, I was just not expecting none of that, and you know, one is out here, they surprised me. Yeah, same. This was great. This is the first one in a long time I've been like, oh yeah, same, mm-hmm. so I'm same happy. from from this, but yeah, from them, yeah, because a lot of their like after you know the whole Raven situation and whatnot, like that. It's been a journey. It's been a journey discovery for them. For exactly. Exactly. Not like that they, their stuff was terrible, but it just wasn't like oneness, you know. Was like, mm-hmm. And it didn't. It so. kind of like just got muddled all together, you know. Like it just like I don't remember what anything yeah. would be, you know. Well, we were talking about the Kepler girlies earlier. Um, they also returned with Galileo. Another I, love I like this. So much. I love it. So I like much. this. This is my favorite title track. It's so good. They killed it with this one again. Like, it's so freaking good. I love the concept of the music video. I yep. love, like, the the contrast of, like, the all-white outfits with that pink room that they were in. Like, I yep. fucking love those scenes. And it was mm-hmm. just so cute and fun to watch it. And, like, even when they were doing that, like, uh, they had, like, a, a dance breakdown in the middle of it. Like, some mm-hmm. of the girls, like, fucking it up fucking it up like it was so good and i just love that the song is called galileo and it's about falling in love because you know that's what galileo like you know studied and that was like his research was on like speed and gravity and like velocity and shit so i'm like ah, i get it i get it i get it i see what you did there <laughs> i get it and then when she's looking at the fireworks that look like constellations because you know he was the first like ever person to like see venus w- through a telescope so i'm like i get it I get it. I get it. Okay. Galileo bit. <laughs> we love it. <laughs> he doing it all. He did Literally. it. Literally. Every time I think of Kepler, all I think about is what da da da. I'll repeat right now. I heard that song like 500 times back to back to back that damn day at KCON. I was like, oh I my swear gosh. to you, somebody plays a song outside of KCON, I will like have a, a heart attack. That but shit. then there was me and wow. Terika on the other side and we were living for it. It was getting us through the day. We're like, <laughs> oh, also, fun fact. I just like Googled Kepler because I was like looking for something and <laughs> this white man came up and I said, who this white man? <laughs> Apparently, he's a German astronomer, astronomer and mathematician. And then it says, related people, Galileo. I said, oh, my God. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Damn. Amazing. Yeah. So I wonder if they named themselves, like, after this man. I don't know. Oh, not. Kepler? Yeah. Like, I literally, I did Kepler, but I forgot to put the the, the stupid one. And I put oh. an L. Yeah. And a little man, his name is Johannes Kepler. And he's an astronomer. And then it says, people oh. connected to him, Galileo. Galileo. And I was like, oh. Well, look at that. Whoa, is this full circle? That's wild. Did we just that's find weird. the full circle? The 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 na- the nature of Kepler's name? I don't know. Is mm-hmm. their music all related to the space and stars and shit? And we just oh, don't know. A... Oh, maybe, <laughs> maybe we just don't know. Imagine, oh my god. Imagine, <laughs> I just imagine like Keplians, like their fandom listening to this, like yeah, dub. They've said this bitch, and we're just here, like ooh, ooh. ooh like, <laughs> like we figured it out. Like no, you did nothing. <laughs> It's just like, yeah, we figured out something, y'all. We discovered it. And they're like, mm, we've been known. No. <laughs> like, okay, moving on. That that one thing of Nicki Minaj, like, mm, child, anyways. <laughs> <Literally>. <laughs> That's us. That's us. But yeah, but I really like Kepler. Like, Hikaru, she's so cute. Love her to pieces. Bitch shouting in this pink hair. Oh, my God. I, I love her so much. Y'all, if I was, like, really, really, really into Kepler instead of just, like, into Kepler, Mm-hmm. That'd, be my, that'd be my bias she'd be collecting ke- she'd be sh- collecting shouting photo cards right now if she was like exactly. I, I really would I would I remember on their little show like I kept saying who's that yeah. and Pana's like shouting and I'm like oh who's that he's like <laughs> for everything <laughs> shouting the same, same girl like her and Hia too I was like wow look my baby's growing up so bad and she's so cute they, they look baby. so good she looks so cute my baby's growing up so bad I can't she's believe so it big. Like they, oh, they're just so adorable. Like I and the mm-hmm. CLC girl, um, Eugen. Eugen, yeah. yes, I love her. I love seeing her in this group. Like she is glowing. Yeah. Deserved. 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 Period. Justice for CLC. Anyways. <laughs> um, and then to fi- finish it all up, we got Fantasy Boys. They debuted with New Tomorrow, and they are Fantasy Boys indeed. 
They were flying all over the place. Yeah, girl. Their budget was three dollars and uh twenty piece chicken nuggets. That's what their budget was. For <laughs> I mean yeah. this felt like a S Club Seven song. Yes. This is something I would see on like Saturday Saturday morning like teen shows. Like, yeah. yeah girl, it was it was just so funny to me. Like I didn't hate the song. Like it was like very like fresh and like, you know, up and like happy. But it was just so funny when the video started because I was like, oh, damn, like, is it going to be all deep and stuff? Like, oh, is this about, like, bullying and whatever? And then this guy (laughs) shows up with an umbrella. I'm like, it's not even raining. What are you doing? (laughs) I just, honestly, I thought it was going to be, like, a really, like, sad, like, Yeah, me too. Right? Yeah. Like, then they're like, yeah, let's go. Flowers into this convertible. And I was like, whoa. (laughs) This took a turn I wasn't expecting. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, they're just they're trying to make her day better. They're like, look, I'm sorry you got your ass whooped. Let's <laughs> we let us be your friends. It's so bad, but it's so true. Not the ass whooping. <laughs> Stop. Stop. I'm sorry. I don't remember what it went like. Like the we don't say goodbye part. Like I think that that's catchy. Like towards the end, that's like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, said, it'd be like oh, that. You watched it that long. Oh. <laughs> not because it was terrible it was just very like saturday morning like special like after school special or yeah. whatever they call those like it was very much that and i was just not in the mood but it's just that's why when i watch it i was just like oh they fantasy boys all right like what is happening here what is it like <laughs> terrible is was happening? that one me in the one video the vine when the lady sees the rat in walmart she's like <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, I'm glad, like, it was, it was, I'm pretty sure it was very nice. And, like, I, I like the message of, you know, like, they were trying to make her a day better. And they are like, yeah. you know, imagination. 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 Like, they, yeah, Terrica <laughs> I gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. I gotta watch this one in two times speed on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> E.T. did make a cameo in this, though. So <laughs> he did. Time. He said, I'm getting my Wait, hello? Yeah, girl. <laughs> They were watching the movie E.T. It was wild. And it was on VHS, girl. It was on VHS. I was like, so so this is what we're doing for fun? Okay. I was like, Like, this is it. This is it right here. But anyways, yeah, not like good for them, though. Like, again, it's not a terrible song. I thought it was cute. And I enjoyed the music video. I was just laughing at the whole thing. But but yeah, but it's just like, you know, we'll see. This this looked very not my brand. So we shall see. Yeah, Yeah, Yeah. it was not our brand at all but again go off they're exactly. from a reality show too so i'm like oh, okay oh, oh really yeah girl. you know that's the trend now that is yeah. indeed the trend Are you reading rainbow <laughs> <laughs> don't ever disrespect the reading rainbow theme song like that <laughs> don't ever do that the reading rainbow theme song would eat every k-pop boy group song alive don't ever say you know what i love reading rainbow i'm just saying like it seems like I don't know. It just reminded me of that. <laughs> it was more like, you know, if the Teletubbies did a collab with the boy group, that's what this would be. <laughs> not the Please do not come for the Teletubbies like that. <laughs> we Tinky are Winky Teletubbies. Deserves better. <laughs> Justice, for deserves better. Justice for Poe. Justice for Poe. Justice for Tinky Winky. My man got clowned for no reason because he was fashionable. Everybody was a hater. Sorry that you carry all your shit in your hand. He was smart. He had a bag. Sorry. I bet you next time we're walking in a theme park and you ain't got nowhere to put your stuff. I bet you're going to be asking Tinky Winky for his purse. <laughs> Thank you. It's funny because I'm pretty sure we've mentioned the Tinky Winky purse in like five <laughs> other episodes. Tinky Winky. It's like an ongoing thing. Anyways, yeah. Fantasy boys, keep on fantasying. Y'all yeah. deserve it. Yeah. Keep on uh, we're gonna end this week like we do every week with our songs of the week. Like I said earlier, I've been listening to Jungkook's 3D quite a lot. Um, I've also been listening to "It's Never Gonna End," "Boy Next Door." I, <laughs> you're right, bitch. I'm obsessed with this album. Like the whole album is just beautiful, wonderful. Um, I will say, one and only, one and only, and also bust sometimes because I really love this new song as well. I think this is a great album and great EP. Also been listening to a lot of treasure. You're my only one treasure. Anyway, been listening to my treasure a lot, you a lot, and also orange. 
so yeah those are my songs of the week eh, period special shout out to pop by nyan because that bitch has been stuck in my head <gasps> oh my god right you're right again like your girl's always just stressed all the time i have a, <laughs> a playlist called like sunshine and rainbow <laughs> and these are the first three that popped up on my shuffle because these are the songs that always just make me smile and make me happy so the first one is spring up by astro oh my god my baby oh, babies it also makes me cry a little bit but it's okay that's a different story and then crown by txt because <laughs> and, and then milky way by vix because i miss them and it's a fan song i love that song so much stop i almost started crying <laughs> <sighs> but yeah so those are my songs of the week well for me i've been listening to an array of things all random um but let's not be surprised that i've been listening to new jeans eta at random i literally would just be like what's your eta what's your eta <laughs> again they put crack in their music i've been listening to charmer by stray kids because all i think about is the concert the moves the wow um Machana, anyways Machana. yes woods tickets go on sale this week everybody wish me luck i don't even luck. know if i'm a go but i am preparing anyways um, so I've been listening to lots of him. So I'm gonna say deep, deep sleep and um, drowning because those are some of my songs. I've also been listening to Extraordinary Heroes preparing for their comeback because dear God knows that I am gonna. I literally it took everything in me not to buy their whole discography at that K-pop store. I was like, you don't need I'm it. I'm so surprised you don't need it on tour yet. I need them to. I need them to be like, yo, tour 2024. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, but I've been listening to a little bit of X Center Heroes, so I'll say good enough because hell yeah, freaking bad because hell yeah. Um, and I'm gonna say to Man in the Box, love that song. Yes, that's what I've been listening to. You know what? Put Strawberry Cake in there too because classic, <laughs> incredible. Oh, um, quick PSA. I'm just gonna plug this. Um, <clears throat> speaking of tickets, if anyone um can find or has some tickets that they're selling. I need two of them. Um, not not for an arm and a leg because I, I don't have a lot of money. But um, if anyone has some tickets to Olivia Rod... What's her name? <laughs> Olivia Rodrigo. <laughs> <laughs> and Austin at the Moody Center in February. That would be great. I really need two tickets. Um, thank you. Thanks. Help make um, a teenage teenager's dream come true. Thank you. <laughs> Hit us up at NYA Fangirls. Or message Erica directly, and yes. Um, yes. So whether you are um, going to be fighting for your life for Woods tickets, Woo! whether you're going to be fighting for your life just in general, mood, <laughs> mood um, or you're, you know, fighting for the cor- last corn costume at Spirit Halloween makes you always, always <laughs> fangirl on. <laughs>